Hello everyone. Uh, here we are going to understand what is meant by the effort driven uh, in Microsoft uh, project. So normally, uh, let's open the Microsoft uh, project application. I'm, I'm opening a blank project here. So whenever you create any task, okay, and if you uh, try to view uh, what kind of project it is, what is the what kind of task we have? What are the tasks we have? You'll see that you know basically the by default any task that you create is a fixed unit. And uh, the other options we have is uh, fixed work and fixed duration. Okay, so we are going to understand what is meant by this effort driven. So this is one uh, you know. Uh, a critical section which we need to understand while we are using the Microsoft project. So for that we are going to use a simple uh, a demo uh, to understand the difference between uh, fixed unit, fixed duration and also this uh, effort driven. You know what is the exact meaning of this effort driven. So if you if you see uh, I, I mentioned that fixed work is nothing but is nothing but the effort driven. So uh, it's a different term they have used in Microsoft project. Okay. So for that to uh, to help you understand, I'm just going to try a uh, small uh, four steps to understand the, the exact functionality of this effort driven. So let us open this uh, Microsoft project. And uh, before starting with the four steps, you know, uh, we will let, let us uh, try to see what are the options we have. So I'm just giving some days, three days, and just giving some date. So once I give all the details, I have an option to change this task to fixed unit, or fixed duration, or fixed work. Okay, by default it was fixed unit, and if you see that there is an option called effort driven, where I have an option to check or uncheck. So fixed unit have this option and uh, fixed duration is also have this option whether you can check or uncheck. But if you look at the fixed duration, uh, fixed work, sorry, uh, the effort driven option is already checked. So this is an indication that uh, the fixed work is nothing but effort driven. Okay, so why they have used this option? Okay, why this uh, options is available okay so when we understand why this is actually given so then we will understand the functionality of it so i hope you are aware of what is meant by fixed duration fixed unit and fixed work okay so let us try to cancel this task now as of now and we will go for the demo now okay so when is this uh, scenario comes in when i'm supposed to use this effort driven option which is nothing but fixed work okay just keep in uh, mind that whenever you say fixed work it is nothing but effort driven whenever you say effort driven that is meant by fixed work as simple as that in microsoft project okay so let us create a simple task called paint the wall this is the task name so I want to pre I want to paint the wall in five days with a total hours of forty hours. Okay, so this is what a condition. Let's say this is the company expectation. This is the client expe expectation here. That is, uh, it's a kind of time and material project. Okay, so there is a task given by the client where the particular task have a constraint call it has to be completed in five days okay fine that is okay so they are saying that it's a fixed duration that is five days within five days you have to complete then i can simply change the task type to fixed duration okay then there is another condition where it says that okay so you let's say you start the date uh, by next monday okay and uh, i'm just scheduling it for five days and also they are saying that 
okay fine you work you complete this task in five days that is when you say this uh, this it's a five days duration then I can know that no I can I need to mention this task as a fixed duration because that that is that cannot change so I'm saying that okay I'll set a create a task as fixed duration now uh, the expectation is uh, you complete the work in five days and also I can pay only for 40 hours of work okay then that means that it becomes a fixed work as well so yeah a single task is having two conditions now it's now it's a fixed duration and also effort driven so then you will actually use this effort driven option so hope you understand now what is meant by the effort driven so similarly fixed unit fixed unit they are saying they give there is a condition of certain task where it says that the unit of work by each resource it's 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 fixed and also the fixed the work is also fixed then you will use this option like fixed unit and effort driven okay and fixed work is nothing but effort driven there's no other combinations can be made okay so here this is the task this is a condition so it's a typical time and material kind of project where the client doesn't want to pay more than five days and he wants this task to be completed in five days and also he is not ready to pay more than 40 hours of that work that means he wants only one person to work for eight hours per day let's say this is a condition he expects that this can this work can be completed in 40 hours and he says that okay i will pay for only one resource who can work for eight hours okay so in these conditions we will use a task with the fixed duration and also to enable this fixed work we enable this effort driven option okay so what it says that okay it says that okay i can pay only for 40 hours that means i can assign only one resource who can work eight hours per day okay for that let me create a uh, let me create a uh, resource go to the resource uh, sheet and I'm going to add a name a person let me add two people as of now okay so I'm going to add uh, the first person here to this particular task okay this task is now both fixed duration and also fixed work okay so please note that so now I'm going to assign this person the first person in the list and I'm going to say that this person will be working in this particular task the task which is a fixed duration and fixed work so now when I just highlight this this uh, task will be assigned and we will see that what is the actual hours of work that we will get by this person okay just insert a column there is a, a existing column called the work and you will see that 40 hours that means this person works for eight hours for five days it's 40 hours so hope you know that how uh, the unit of work is assigned in a microsoft project by default it believes that a person works for eight hours so you can go just go and check file options and schedule and you will see that eight hours per day this is called unit of work okay so now this is a typical creating a task as an and assigning a resource okay now now to understand this effort driven what we are going to do is we are going to view how this 40 hours of work is assigned so we by just looking at this simple example we can understand that for five days this person is going to work for eight hours so eight 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 so that comes 40 hours so let us view in the resource usage page yeah so here you see that the hours are split in eight hours okay now to understand this effort driven let's go to the next step now assign a person to this task once assigned a total effort or total work we will get is 40 hours 
so far we have completed this step so now we will go to the step 2 it says that okay let us assume that in day 1 the, the person who has, who has been assigned was able to complete only 4 hours of work okay so now that means that out of 40 hours in the first day he could complete only 4 hours of work instead of 8 hours per day so then how the system is going to behave the problem here is it cannot extend the duration because it is a fixed duration so 5 days within 5 days he has to work he has to complete and the other condition is it is also fixed work that is called effort driven that means he has to use the 40 hours within that 5 days so only option we have is to increase the unit of work so this is called the effort driven combinations so it doesn't work when you uncheck this effort driven effort driven, uh, driven option okay so now if i complete this step 2 by saying that okay in the first day he come he worked only for 4 hours and i'm expecting that there is a change in the unit of work for that particular person that is he is working for 8 hours per day and i'm expecting that the remaining 4 days system microsoft project application itself has to increase this unit of work for this resource to 9 hours per day okay so let us try to see that okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to assign four hours of actual work for the first day okay for that i'm going to add this uh, i'm going to view the actual work as well so i'm saying that okay in the first day he worked for four hours now if you see that there is a message which says that the person will actually be overloaded now it's a very common uh, an understanding because i cannot extend the duration i cannot extend uh, the total hours or i can i cannot reduce the total hours that is for example i i cannot say that okay the, there is a four hours extra work that i'm supposed to do let me do it on monday so total uh, duration is six days no i cannot do this okay fine so let uh, let us uh, ignore this four hours and uh, just do that eight hours of work for the next four days which is nothing but uh, i'm reducing the total work itself which is not at all accepted because it is also a fixed work that is fixed effort one so only option is i have to increase this eight hours to nine hours because four hours is additional is there so i have to put each one hour for the next four days it's the only option we have so it says that if you do this there is a conflict for this resource where he's supposed to work eight hours and so now he's he will be overloaded that's what it says so i am fine with it so i'm saying skip don't give any warning i'm i'm saying skip okay now you see that the hours are maintained duration is also maintained but unit of work for that resource has increased just because he has worked only for the four four hours on the first day okay he is asked to work for nine hours per day to complete this task so this is called the time and material kind of model where you know the client is very strict about uh, the total duration and also the total work okay so let us go to the uh, the the view so if you see this this the red that the red uh, symbol it says that th there is the person who is assigned is overloaded he is working for 9 hours per day from the day 2 that actually you know we, we may think that it is actually uh, a valid one because he has worked only for 4 days and he it's he, it's a, it's a it's a it's a valid one to work for 9 hours okay but a honest project manager will try to assign uh, another person to manage this uh, overload or the work for that person is it right so now uh, let's say the project manager wants to assign there is another resource which we have already added hope you are aware there is another resource available okay 
so uh, to just because this person is overloaded now for the day two three four five so he is he's planning to uh, accommodate this person as well so that the food can be you know uh, split it across so for that what he does is you know he validates that okay the there is a red symbol so he is uh, one person is overloaded here okay now what he says is okay i'm going to assign the the second resource so that is what uh, we are going to do so in step 3 how the system behaved so only option we have is to increase the unit of work for that person so he has to work for 9 hours per day for the next 4 days to ensure that both the duration and the total work that is effort is maintained okay so now you hope and you understand what is the meant by actually the effort driven which is nothing but fixed effort fixed work okay in step 4 as we discussed i'm going to assign the second person who can work for 8 hours per day so what we can expect okay so let us see so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add that second person for this particular task which is both fixed duration and also fixed work so now this person can also be available for the four days with each eight hours that is he can give 32 hours he is also having 32 hours for the tuesday wednesday thursday and friday so there are two persons will be assigned for this four days each have 32 hours of work in total we will have 64 hours of work but since because the task is this particular task is fixed duration and fixed work even whether if you have more work capacity that is 64 hours of capacity the project needs only 40 hours so what will happen in that case just you know if you go to this uh, okay I, I have assigned it so i'm just going to highlight and uh, so i see that the resource is also assigned now so now i'm going to the usage screen and now you see that okay in the f in the first day the person have worked for four hours and the second person is assigned now and if you see that the task has been given to the both the person to ensure that the total hours of work 40 hours is maintained and the duration is also maintained and the hours has been splitted so it says that the first person okay you know, now you can work for maybe around five hours and second person can work for four hours if you look at even here it gives more work to the the existing person than a new person because it understands that the existing person knows about the system well so it gives a, a little bit more uh, work compared to the second person so in total it maintains the 40 hours and also the duration so now we hope you understand what is meant by the effort driven or otherwise known as fixed work thank you for watching